Welcome to another look at uh, Manship Identifies, Counterfeits, Originals and uh, Repros. Today, this one has caused a little bit of controversy in recent times. Uh, Bobby Freeman, I'll Never Fall In Love Again. The original was made in April 1965 in San Francisco. Uh, this is a counterfeit. Certainly not a 1965 press. I'll show you what to look for. The counterfeit to, to be made more authentic, the, f the person who did the counterfeit drilled little tiny holes in them. Uh, when you compare the holes of uh, the cutout drills that the companies did to their records in the 60s, you will no doubt know that nobody did a little tiny hole like that that's a it's not a lot more than a pink prick having said that i would imagine naughty people uh wanting to still fool people will probably make that hole bigger so don't take that as the only point to look for second point is we've done this several times before this is not 1965 april 1965 san francisco vinyl as you can see it's pretty damn flexible certainly not 60s vinyl i can bend that yeah quite a way without breaking it so anyway so we do a little tiny kangaroo down sport tiny kangaroo down and there you go that's a, that's certainly 70s vinyl it's certainly a uh, counterfeit which was made in new york and sold as originals at the time didn't take long for people to work out that it's, it's a fake um, mainly because the matrix which is just there and you won't be able to see it because it's so finely written that I'll tell you what it reads it reads autumn hashtag 9a okay the autumn is spelt capital A capital U capital T capital U capital M capital N that's exactly what it says just there very very tiny fine it's fine writing so it, it, it's uh, just lightly scratched in so the way that I research these things here is compare them with the originals here's an original April 1965 uh, promo copy which as you can see totally different feel of the vinyl there's no way i'm going to do tiny kangaroo down sport with that that's a very solid piece of vinyl not flexible at all um, and and this is this is intriguing really how the counterfeiters always mess up on their matrix for some reason the matrix on this says autumn not an hashtag a h 9 a so instead of a hashtag, it's got a H. So that's a good pointer. But also in the middle of autumn is a small lowercase T, not a capital T. So the matrix on the stock copy of this, because this is the, was made from the master plate, which went on to do the stock copy, should read autumn, AU, small T, capital U, capital M, capital N, H. 9 dash a not hashtag and not the autumn all in capitals the t on this is lowercase so there's that's what you're looking for on this record and you're looking for a nice solid vinyl so just to summarize the f the counterfeiter of this record this northern soul classic from 1965 counterfeited it in the mid 70s and to add to its fakery he drilled a hole in it and then sold it as an original. Like I say, it didn't take too long to work out that it wasn't a 1960s press. And uh, that's the baby. The matrix is a difference, as I pointed out before. And obviously, the way to the feel of the vinyl, it, it just doesn't feel like this. This is totally different type of vinyl, different composition and does all different things in your hand um, okay 
all I would say is, and I'm, all I'm always saying is, buy records from dealers who have the experience to be able to tell the difference between a counterfeit and the original thing because Northern Soul has hundreds and hundreds of counterfeit fit records. Still today, today, this is some, a, a customer of mine bought a copy of this as an original and it's a bootleg. So this, this book here, which we've now sold out of all except a few review copies, I've probably only got a handful left now. All the limited edition 1000 sold, sold out over a year ago. I've got a few review copies left, uh, which are available on the website. This will tell you everything you need to know. And please try and buy your records from people who know. And there is a lot of good dealers out there who do know their onions and have been to America and have uh, scoured hundreds and thousands of records, millions of records, and they know how a 60s record should feel. And it shouldn't feel like that.